Hello and welcome to today's episode of F123 Cup Career Mode Season 2, Episode Number 9. And of course, we're joined by Gamar. So we're getting towards the end of the season here. Today we're taking on Japan and Qatar. After today, there's only three episodes left. Let's see what we can do in Japan and Qatar. Uh, last season, I got ninth at both tracks. Wan got 16th in Japan and second in Qatar. Wait, Japan? This is in... Oh, this is a cycle in Japan, never mind. What? We're not doing... I thought Japan was today. Or the 21st. The next one. It is Japan. But you just said we did Japan? Yeah, I said last season we did Japan. Oh, oh okay. I missed that. Uh, what do we got in here that needs to be replaced? Oh, everything. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> How am I doing? I'm still good. I feel like as soon as I hit the practice lap, this is going to go into uh, the yellow, so I'll just keep it at that for now. Yeah, you should keep it and then switch it before qualifying. Yeah. Apparently, there's a glitch with the game that makes it, when you do the simulating qualifying or simulating practice that we do to get the points, guess your components wear more. See we do in Japan though. That's one of my honestly least favorite tracks to play. Well, we're here. Let Wen do his thing. Yeah. Uh, other exciting things you guys can look forward to later this week as we continue through the first full week here of December content. <laughs> of course, Wan is continuing his uh, career mode. Wan will be on episode number seven. Make sure you guys check that out. And Wan's also got a special RC video guy. Video for you guys coming out. And uh, of course, we have another recap for you guys. This, this week, we're talking about Gran Turismo 7 and the impacts that has had on the channel. Of course, we're going to wrap it up with the 214th episode of the race playlist. So, some more cool content coming out after this week. Let's do it. Practice here for Japan. I don't even know what my issue with Japan is. It's just I haven't ever raced this track that well. Uh, you don't know what your issue with Japan is? No, I can't like... like bomb Pearl Harbor in the 1940s? Like, I can't... Think of what's wrong with the Japanese Grand Prix for me. It's just been a track I've always struggled with. Um, Didn't cancel for that one. It's over for when. Of all the things you said on the channel, that's what gets. That's what does it. I mean, yeah, dude. It's like when you get those silent pauses after some fucking wild ass shit and you can hear clearly. <laughs> it's like, alright. <laughs> Dude, just let that go. I was like, cool. Okay, track's green right now, so take a few laps. 
laps to get the tyres up to temp and get yourself in the zone. Nah, I mean they bombed Pearl Harbor, but we got we gave it back to them a few times. So, imagine being the only country to ever get. Me. America's got nuked. Yeah, but like nuked in a war, not like nuclear testing. Right. Yeah, that must suck, dude. You gotta like wake up every day and be like, damn. How'd that L feel? Damn, all my. Oh. This video was good until you guys started talking about nuclear war and bombing people. And politics. And <laughs> this video got political. Don't watch after five minutes in. Oops. I don't even know what practice program I'm doing, dude. I'm just kind of here. I want to do a specific one. Ah, oh, Wan's out of the session. Yes. I understand. We've got to get that out of the way. Get that glitch out of the way before dudes can hit the track. I haven't even came out on the track yet, dude. I know. I'm still choosing my tire acclimation. Or my, this dude's uh, over here like, all right, what's my settings? All right, Wan's out of the session. Bruh, how? Push the call just yet. Track still green. <clears throat> Give me that gate, bitch. Oh yes. But call me the driving god for nothing. Oh my god, he's starting already. Ego on this guy. I love how half our videos are just like memes of shit people said to us in comments. <laughs> like, <laughs> bruh. I feel like a lot of people like on the internet get hurt by comments and we just turn it into fucking memes. Like the average GTA player meme? Oh my god. I love it. Shout out to whoever called me an average GTA player. Got a lot of enjoyment out of that meme. Yeah, that's just your way of dealing with the cope. You're coping so hard. Tell you're coping. Oh my god, Wan is doing that thing where he moves across the track left to right. No, Wan, don't do that. Alright, oh, I'm doing it. Damn, I missed that gate. Cause I'm an average GTA player. If I was good at real sim games, I wouldn't wouldn't miss that gate. I only do fake driving, unfortunately. Let's play Minecraft with a driving mod at this point. No, nah, I was like, I don't, I don't like this track, dude. Fucking turns are ugly. Yeah, this is one of the ones that we don't typically do well in uh, Grand Turismo. Oh, hmm. no, my God! Why do you guys do this track of podium chasers? You only pick tracks you're good at.
This series is rigged. Hashtag unwatchable. Yes, some of these gates. It's probably the only track that uh, we've done a lot that I'm not like pretty confident on. There are some tracks that like I barely touched, like Las Vegas or Monaco, Azerbaijan, uh, Paul Ricard. Basically, any of those tracks that are in F1 but not in Gran Turismo. Um, this is one that I'm actually familiar with because it's in both, and I just fucking can't, dude. This, these turns are stupid as fuck. Especially these first, like, seven turns. I'm trying to God. think, what are all the tracks that are in both? You got Spa, Monza. Suzuka. What else is there? Oh, Interlagos. Am I missing anything else? Uh, Red Bull Ring? Red Bull Ring. How do you forget that, my guy? You would think that'd be the one that I wouldn't forget. You, you forgot that the last time we mentioned that, too. I always forget Red Bull right now. I don't know why. Well, I think the thing is I'm thinking, like, all the other tracks that I listed in that are, like, the... basically some of the most iconic tracks in that one. Right? Those first four, you pretty much put, like, Silverstone and Monaco in there, and those are, like, the most iconic F1. So, they were like the first that always popped my mind. So... Yeah, you would think I'd remember Red Bull, but... Considering it's one of my favorite tracks to race, and it's Red Bull, um, you'd think I'd remember it, but for some reason... And the country where your favorite artist came from. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, dude, how could you forget that, dude? But yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's for some reason attracted. I mean, we race that all the time in Gran Turismo. I'm a big fan of the Dutch Grand Prix. I like that one. <coughs> Zandvoort's not bad. Uh, I also like Paul Ricard. Um, doing that a couple episodes ago, I think now. Two episodes ago, that shit was swag. That god awful track. I just like the sweeping turns on it. <clears throat> I like Survey of the Americas. I'd like to see that in. Theory of the Americas, Silverstone, those two would be cool. Are you actually done now? Yeah, it's finished. Alright. Uh, what other tracks? Zanvoort is cool. Dutch Grand Prix is definitely a good one. Um, great crowd, too. That track has the best fans. Way better than the British Grand Prix. Um, make that a short and watch the comments melt down. Oh my god, what's your favorite team? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.
Dudes are so fucking hurt. That's why I just love to make these comments, because, like, doesn't fucking matter to me anymore. Like, the the Lewis Hamilton Max Verstappen beef was 2021, and now 2023 season's over, so, like, uh, it's not something to hold on to anymore. Uh, okay. Fuck. That yeah, year was, was definitely like. A little bit of. You know, the rivalries, you kind of got into it, but then two years, like. Whatever. I like the name of the short um, that you posted the other day. What? The, uh, what was the Michael Schumacher? Oh, movie? yeah. There was two of those shorts where we did things that were supposed to be, or that one we did that was supposed to be like that. I didn't tell you that, but that's what the plan was the whole time. Come to the finish. I thought you find out in the title. Uh, and then I had the one where I followed George Russell all over the pits, he could slipstream, like Fernando Alonso did in Bahrain. Whatever year I put, 2010, 2012, one of those two years. But yeah, that I think I've made that uh, statement pretty clear with the. before how I felt about Lewis Hamilton as a driver so I just like to make the jokes because everybody gets triggered about it on the internet Max and Lewis fans always taking shots at each other but I don't really give a fuck so I just say oh. shit because it's funny because I know that they'll be fucking big hurt as a Max fan saying something about Lewis Hamilton and British fans but I mean don't know like anything else to say on that I mean I think that Lewis Hamilton's obviously one of the best F1 drivers ever I think that's pretty clear whenever you have the goat conversation he's typically the top of it so I mean, obviously, I personally would say Max is a better driver, but statistically, Lewis Hamilton's the best driver ever. But there's a reason after this season, whenever you look at the GOATs and most stats, it's Lewis Hamilton, Michael Schumacher, Max Verstappen. It's those three in most categories. Sometimes you get uh, Ayrton Senna in there, Sebastian Vettel, Alain Prost occasionally. And underrated, I feel, by a lot of people, when you look at percentage-wise, is Jim Clark. I feel like he doesn't get that appreciation from fans because he raced in the 60s, but... No, it's definitely Max, dude. Like, how does how does Max not have the the best stats? Like, does he just? Is it just because he's, he's so young? Is yeah. it because yeah. he's? That's yeah, because he has oh, a race. Okay. I mean, you're I not gonna, gonna like, dude, you're not gonna get the most wins. You're not gonna get the most championships when you've done what is it on eight years compared to uh, Schumacher and Hamilton who have done I think fifteen each. Or Hamilton's on 17 now or something like that. Like, that's how... 
That's how Max doesn't have that, like, those stats, because he's... Right. You know, he's right. getting there now. I mean, he's third on the wins list. He's got three championships. There's only... In front of him on the wins list, or champions list, you have... Um, Sebastian Vettel and Alain Prost with four. Uh, Fangio with five. And Hamilton and Schumacher with seven. So, I mean... Realistically, based on how car performance goes and regulations, Max has a very good chance to get at least two more, 24 and 25, before the cars change. And I mean, if things continue the way they go win-wise, he'll definitely get a lot closer to uh, catching the top two. I mean, Schumacher's got 91, Hamilton's got 100. Four wins, I believe. So Max is at 54. So. But Do you I mean, know when you look at blinking? Because your ERS is below 10. Oh, okay. I almost cooked that one. Sorry, control. I just wanted to know that. That's kind of worrying me. I thought I had a problem with my car or some shit. No. No, but what were you saying that you think Max is the best driver? I mean, yeah, like, there's... I'm not saying that, like... It, obviously, stats do prove it, and I I've always... If you give me stats that are valid, then... You, you can't refute the stats. I mean, that's just how it is. Like, um, It is what it is. So, overall, because Lewis has been doing it for longer, I feel like he's the better driver statistically, but genuinely, I think Max is the best driver. I mean, just to win every single race and, like, the dominance, he's Bro, just getting 19 better 19 wins out of just... 22, dude. Bro, lost three Bro, races like, in 2023. <laughs> three. <laughs> That'd be like in NASCAR. Fucking, there's one driver that just pulled up in one, like... How many races are there in a season? 36. Like 30 races. 30, 30 or 31 races. That'd be like a driver doing that. Yeah, that's... In a thing like NASCAR. Like, that'd be fucking insane. The dude. difference that's, is, though... That's just absolutely insane. NASCAR, <laughs> the cars are a lot more equal. Right. F1, like... So, obviously, there's elements of the car going into it, but you still have to be the best driver with those cars. I mean, again... The arguments always look at their teammates. Lewis Hamilton won 70 races with Bottas as a teammate who won 10. Max won 19 races, Yurcheka won 2. And genuinely outdrove Max in one of those wins. And then only got lucky because the car okay, fucked up in qualifying for Max. I, mean, I feel like it's no different than just driving like modifieds. Modify cars. Yeah. That's that corner right there. It's fucking cut my time. But yeah, I don't think it's anything different than driving just that. In the sense of like it being different than every other car in perf in speed and performance. I just don't think that the car has. I mean, it has something to do with it, like to a certain extent. I would no, I'll tell you the combination like of the car race, and like... the driver, which I think people try to... If you're making an argument against your forward driver, they try to undersell, like, the driver's performance, put it all in the car, but... You have to be in a good car to win races, but again, you have to be a good driver to put it all together. Right, I mean, you can be... You can put Max in a pause, dude. Like, and dude would regardless, get Regardless, he's still going to be... <laughs> He's not winning in a Haas, dude. It's just not happening. Like, I could tell I mean, you... He's not like, winning, but he's going to be close to the front. No, I mean, that, and that's a good race. argument as well, because Lewis Hamilton's in the Mercedes this year, which isn't great, but he finished third in the championship. The Mercedes this year was kind of shit at a lot of tracks. And even with that, he finished third in the championship. And genuinely, before the last, like, two races, was close to Checo. 
who was in the Red Bull, which is the best car, right? Like, Lewis wasn't far behind him in points. So, again, that goes to show the driver ability is more than just the car, because... Okay, when you're ready, let's go. Again, Traco almost got beat by Lewis, and Lewis is in not a good Mercedes this year. So, there's the difference in that. And again, Aston Martin, we're driving Aston Martins right here. Aston Martin this season started out really well for Ronald Alonso killing on points. And he was still carrying them at the end of the year, where Lance Stroll didn't do shit. And Fernando Alonso is a very good driver. Like, and Lance Stroll's there because his dad has a lot of money and can buy Aston Martin. So, oh my god. So you do have the combination of both, but yeah, no, I think that the driver does show, even if they're in a shitty car, what they can do. Like the things the Max would do in like performances from, I guess, things I've, things I've seen of how his performance was in 2015 when he was driving Toro Rosso before going to Red Bull. Come on, give me that. I mean, give bro me pulled up in a Toro Rosso, which isn't a great car. Fuck you. Yep. <clears throat> Because Star Rosso became Alpha Tauri, and Alpha Tauri, you wouldn't say, is a good team, right? But Max pulled up in that car, and I believe he got fourth in a Star Rosso, which that car has only ever won two races. And he pulled up and got a fourth in it. Like, So, there's that. But again, I think you have, like I said, the list of drivers I went through, that's typically like drivers that people make an argument for is the greatest drivers. I'm ready whenever you are as well. No, I just got to put in a good lap here. I had a terrible lap on my 18s. Yeah, yeah, like I was saying, time though, time I think time. the one one dude that does get underrated, again, Jim Clark from the 60s, bro does get underrated, bro doesn't get talked about him much. That was a deep pull for greatest driver conversation, but... I'm just getting into watching F1, so, like... I don't know who the fuck that is, but I'll take your word for it. They did a uh, episode talking about it. Grand Tour episode from years ago. I don't know if you... Hey, you got Prime. You should check that episode out. We'll talk about him. Like, this dude... pulled up in the 60s. Dude would win, like all the races he entered in like different series this is before drivers were just doing I'm exclusive to this series like this dude would pull up and like win in every series he entered dude had like I believe 21 wins which in the 60s is very wild because they only did like eight races in a season or 10 races something like that so 21 career wins two championships and statistically or percentage wise got some very high percentages I believe one of his percentage records I forgot what it was for but I know one of them got broken this year by Max, and it had been a record that stood for that long. What other one did Max break this year that was a percentage? I think it was Alberto Ascari's percentage of race wins in a season. 
Roberto Ascari won 75% and that record stood until this year. The max, I think, 186%, something like that. That just seems like some unreal ass fucking numbers. 86% fucking season wins. Like, this dude in real racing put up fucking stats like when you get clapped in the race playlist. Like, genuinely. Uh, that's just you and I in a racing series. Bro pulled up here, real racing to that to fucking dudes every single fucking week. Like, that's fucking wild. Imagine getting race playlists as your fucking job weekly. What? <clears throat> oh. Hi, it's Wan. I'm actually trying to make that my job. Getting race playlists weekly. Welcome along to the legendary Suzuka. This classic race. All right. Time to get 13 world champions have been crowned at the Japanese Grand Prix. Kumar, who's the most recent champion to be crowned at the Japanese Grand Prix? That would be Max. What season? Season... 8? What year? 2023? 20, 2022. Oh, okay. He won the championship in 2023 at the track we're going to next. Boy, I had a good launch. Goodbye. 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 Oh, oh, Piastri getting to you. The bitch. I should get on this open fucking track. No, we're good, dude. He's gone. He'll be gone, too. There won't be world champions crowned in Japan anymore, though, because it's going to an early race in the season. Like they just crashed? Something crashed. I feel like I'm going to crash at some point in this race. Oh, well, there you go. Whoa, Please. Piastri just pulled the fuck. What the fuck? Bro, where'd you come from, dude? I know why he passed me, but that dude just fucking... How'd he pass you? Absolutely sucked. <clears throat> I spun up. Oh my god! Oh, god damn it. Fuck it. Ooh, well move. Took a little bit of wing damage, because... When you and Pat Piastri collided into that corner, he kind of recorrected and uh, okay, off we go. Back into the race. I hit that dude. So. This I is the tires you just, put me on? There's just slight wing damage. Front wing damage. Whoa. Whoa. Honestly, that might bug me in the ass here on this track, but. Bro said we want to oh, finish yeah. the race on this compound, bro. You put me on softs on lap two. <laughs> this is fucking around, dude. Whoa. Oh. Fucking pit. God, my fucking engineer. Is the man retarded? Like, holy fuck, dude. Bro thinks I'm going to look after these tires for fucking this many laps. Or you put me on soft tires, I'm gonna push so fucking hard, dude. <laughs> You'll push hard on any fucking compound. Yeah, probably. But, like... It's lap two, you're going in the pits again, dude. Like... Maybe it was lap, like, five. 
Nah, I'm not pitting again, dude. I'm gonna fucking win this race. On Warren Sox, you watch. My fast is a lot, bitch. Come here. Hello? The whole cleft. I remember when a bozo passed in uh, Gran Turismo. Yeah. Penalty yeah, that was passing brilliant. the yellow flag. I think that short went out. Did it? Yeah, it was at the yeah. Yeah, it did. It's on uh, Austrian Grand Prix. <laughs> yeah. Perez is pulling up. Uh, I'm pulling up in Piastri, though. Give me your pastry boy. Fuck. Didn't really go to plan. Watch this corner, watch this corner. I was trying something. One of your sauce. You're on softs. Wanna switch in the pits. What lap you fitting? Probably seven. Or six. Oh no. Russell, Russell, Russell. Oh. Yeah, I'm so glad that I had to do that again. Robert. I I spun and broke my front wing, started pit again. I mean, you did call it. You felt like you were gonna have a spin in this, uh, this race. Yeah, I kind of know things like that. It's that. The hill coming out of the, like, S's area. I always get That's a bitch. I, that's why I had to do a second qualifying lap. So I spun there. Um, I don't know, I spun there in practice. I think I went off the gravel somewhere else. I don't know. I've been off the track so many times in this one. I forgot what game it was. I think it was F1 2019. This was the last track that I won in my career. All of them. Including Monaco, Singapore. Japan was the last track for me to win, dude. Took me like 10 fucking tries. I did full 10 season career. And it took me the entire time. Whoa! Wow. I just got bumped by Leclerc, sent back four spots. This episode is a disaster, disaster class. Holy fuck. I mean, I'm trying to pull up here. I'm making some gains. I just passed signs. Thanks, Pitt. Ah, yes. Warning for corner cutting because this car won't fucking turn. Where did you get a quarter cut in? The first turn. Oh. I went on the grass there. Got a corner cutting penalty. Oh my god, it's only lap five of this shit show. 
surprised. I didn't just get a fucking corner cut for that. <clears throat> Do you have fast lap right now? Probably. I mean, is your name highlighted in purple on the box? No. Then you can have a fast lap. No, I have a 134 mediums right now, so it's probably some AI with softs. Beat Tokon? Is his name highlighted in purple? I don't know. I don't remember who he was, but I think that's... No, 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 no! You're not passing shit, dumb bitch. Wow, out of 138.789. It's my best lap of the entire fucking race. Let's go, give me the fastest lap, bitch. That gave me a target to go for, so I had something to send it. Needs that motivation while I'm here in 19th. There's still a chance for a safety car. There's still a chance to put on soft tires if there is one. This thing's not over if we get a safety car. I have the greatest internal combustion engine. There's nowhere. Sorry. Co Parter engineer. This is probably the fast slabber now. You got a bit of 132.672, Gamar.
full of it. Okay, let's go. We're still good. Light damage. What position you in? The other thing is part of when I did ask you if you had fastest lap, but I didn't want to take it away from you if you did have it. Because you only get fastest lap point if you're in the top 10. Hmm. Oh my god. So I don't want to be like, oh, I'm going to take Kamar's point, but if it's like Ocon, I'll give a fuck. Oh my god, another new race strategy, because I can't fucking stop crashing. Come on, come on, come on, give me that. Fuck! Fuck this AI, dude. Fuck that race strategy, we're doing DRS down the street. Cutting off Albin. Albin! Going wide in that corner. Yup, push out to the curb. Yup. Bro, the game said, nah, we don't even need to get you to pit again. So if I don't pit, I'm gonna fucking get a DNF. So you miss a corner. Three laps, I can do this, probably. These right or these left hand turns are kind of a pain in the ass, but the time I'm right, they're not as bad. Oh, that one I didn't touch. Well, there you go that. Fuck, everybody's falling up now. Holy shit. Okay, I seem to leave them in the dust. We the corners are gonna fuck me up. Like that one there. Oh, I just left that dude in dust. And he's pulling up though. <laughs> oh. Watch yourself, buddy. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Damn it. That's the problem. What'd you do? I had my Alvin and the fucking chipmunks pass me, and then Zhao pulled up, and uh signs as well and kind of ended up getting pinballed between them both and I lost my front wing it's critical how many laps you got left? Uh, two that's not worth it now but can you hold them off? possibly I think I can. I'm gonna try it. It's honestly, these straights are so long, dude. That's why I lose these dudes. These corners I was having trouble with the whole time. 
I can definitely do this. We've got a lot of spare energy. Okay to use your overtime. No. No. Start past some dudes, come on. Working on it. Ah, uh, with the RS is right here. Overtake Bach marker? What? That's me. Watch out, buddy! Watch out, buddy! Watch out, buddy! Botas, come on, dude! Yes, yes, yes. About thirteen to thirteen right here. Keep it on the track, dude. We're good. Fine, dude. Alright, dude. So fast. Holy shit. Come on. Oh, no. I got a 10 second penalty. What will I ever do? Oh, that turn was a bitch. Okay. Here we go. Yo. Yeah, it was O'Connor's at the front. I don't know if we had the fastest lap for you, though. Uh, come on, come on. Wow. Big teamwork, Amar. <laughs> I'm sure this is totally allowed. Not Bottas, you ain't catching that easy. Sorry, buddy. That was Sorry. crazy. I did that exact same strategy to try and get my dude points. Well, originally it was to try and do a safety car. And then oh, get okay. points through that way. Uh, or catch up and then, yeah. Bro, that fucking blockade took you from like 17th to 8th. Because the thing about it was I was going fast enough that it wasn't giving out yellow flags, so you could still pass everybody. Oh, what a podium that is. It's my dream podium. Oscar Piastri, Checo, and Lewis Hamilton. Doesn't get much better than that. Probably hasn't helped us in constructors. It it hasn't. Fuck. What's that? What's what? Or why is that? Because Oscar Piastri won. So we got twenty five points and Lando got six. We're getting seventh and you got us two points total. It's better than no points. Yeah, but I mean they're they're our closest rival. They are 65 behind. Again, I think we're still in a good spot. We got, what, seven races to go? Let's 
because we got Qatar, America, Mexico, Brazil, Las Vegas, Portugal. No, are you scared or something? Like, what are you talking about, dude? Am I scared? No, it's yeah. adding interest to the episode. I can't just say, oh, we're fucking dominating. Structures doesn't really fucking matter. Is that what you want me to say? Yeah. No, it doesn't create interest if I just say, oh, we're ahead by 65. Doesn't fucking matter. Bro, five. They are close to final. 65 points. Bro. Do you know how many points you can get in a race weekend? Yeah, we're going to dominate. Don't worry about it. Actually, I'm going to do a strategic. Oh my god, we might win this by two points. And that two points would have made a big difference because you held up the line. If you hadn't done that, we wouldn't have got the two points because I would have gotten past. Yeah, that was that was a good move. This what year's car is fantastic with some truly stunning liveries. Sports have been blessed with amazing designs over the year. Which are your favorite? Ferrari, Lotus, or our own? Bruh. Why would you say any of the other ones? Where's Red Bull? I mean, are we talking like... When you say Ferrari, are you talking the current Ferrari? Or are you talking like... The Las Vegas Ferrari with the white on it? Because there's a difference. You just say the basic red Ferrari, I'm good. But you say the Ferrari with the white on it, that shit's goaded. I mean, the engine's our best part because it makes us go fast. All right, Qatar Grand Prix. You got second here last season, Demar. That was your best finish. In season. The marketing team would like to add a new product to our driver merch store exclusively for the next GP. They want to know what type of item you'd like to add to our range. It's a high uh We got rain jacket, t-shirt, and ignore. Um, I mean, you got to go with a t-shirt. Who's going to get a rain jacket for Qatar, dude? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Introducing the Qatar collection. <laughs> yes, tomorrow in Qatar collection 2023. Featuring a oh, rain jacket. Like, it's like having a heavy coat for, like, the Miami Grand Prix. Like a heavy, heavy coat. Yeah. It's like, thanks. <laughs> it's fucking a thousand degrees outside and you got fucking winter coats. We're just going to be collecting a couple of, a bit of data. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Nothing you need to worry a little bit about. Oh my god, the fact that you blocked. 
the left cars. I think I have like a 15 second penalty for ignoring blue flags. Oh no! What will I ever do? I'm a minute behind the next car on track. this corner that caught me out last time that got me a penalty and I think hurt my finishing result bro what is this fucking like thing out in the distance is that a stadium it's a little sale dude oh it's probably a world cup stadium honestly Of course, which country won the World Cup in 2022, Gamar? Korea. What? I don't fucking know. Bro, they got the greatest soccer player ever? Come on, we went over this, dude. There's a whole short about it. Fucking... Wait, wait, wait. The U what? <laughs> Women's U.S. team? Fucking Megan Rapinoe? No, we're talking about... Oh. Like... Soccer players that actually were relevant, dude. Like, not some fucking. I don't even know, dude. What'd she do? Blame? She, uh, yeah, she was like she a was hardcore a feminist. And the, hardcore feminist, and then she fucking kicked the ball and fucking ruined the fucking shot for the US Bro, her fucking, team. Bro, didn't she get, like, injured in her last ever game and then fucking, like. Yeah, it's a fucking career in the injury, dude. She fucking just, like, flopped. Literally. You have a career ending injury. What? No, it was a career ending injury. See? She, like, fucked your leg up. Bad. We're getting an Achilles injury. It's not a career ending injury. Eh, it's a pretty bad one. It's not a career She's done, ending though. injury. She it ended her career. It's a career She was injury. already fucking retiring. No, she wasn't, dude. Yeah, she got fucking bodied too much. Yeah, that's the fucking truth, but she wasn't retiring, dude. She was... She still had it in her. She wanted to get by. That was literally her. her last game, but okay. Anyways. Um... Yeah. That's crazy. Her fucking interview after that was fucking ridiculous. I think she, like, blamed everybody else for all this shit. Of course she did, dude. Not her fucking terrible-ass kick of the fact she was focused on woke politics and fucking standing for the fuck- or sitting down I'm for the fucking I'm pretty sure flag. her getting her Achilles tear, she, like, did an interview about how God's not real or some shit, because if God is real, some of that wouldn't happen to her or something stupid. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. She and I'm like, that. that's an interesting take, I guess. You could have taken that a lot of different routes. Um, but... I guess you getting injured means God's not real. And you can have... That's one way to prove it. That's, that's one way to fucking do it. Yes. <laughs> I feel like that's just something that she was like saying. Like, she just said, God's not real. Like, fucking. You know, when someone like throws a fucking piece of paper into a trash can, they're like, Kobe! <laughs> or fucking, uh. It's just like her saying, dude. Yeah. She just goes up to the mic, fucking, just stop oil. Goes away. up to the mic and says, "Just stop, oil." <laughs> she 
She's the type, dude. She's also a fuck clown. A foot clown. Car repairs have set us back a little. Bro, do you like what I fucking called that Larry dude in the fucking <laughs> title? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking loser Larry, dude. dude. Laughing stock Larry. <laughs> oh, yeah, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Laughing stock Larry's ultimate failure compilation. You need to add that buzz out of the fucking title. So that way people can fucking hear that dude's name every single time they click off the video after 10 seconds. And we can. Fucking meme this dude and have them refer back to the short every single time. But we had some good shorts today. Joe Biven doesn't have any comments. That shit's hilarious, bro. My god, you made a political short. It's not funny. Joe Biven memes aren't acceptable. Apparently BLM supporting Trump now. What? <laughs> yeah, dude, some BLM dude from. Well, I think he's a former BLM dude. So you? Came out. No, I mean like an actual like leader of the shit. And um. You went and like yelled at buildings for a little bit. You led the. No, I just said you led the. Dick. You Are led you the Nick beard. The yelling at buildings. I don't need anything, dude. Did you or did you not go yell at buildings? At buildings? No. Actually, I never yelled would have yelled at a park. <laughs> Man holds up sign on field. Checks complete. Everyone be aware. We've got a car leaving the garage. There's food, dude. Was it purchased or stolen? Uh, don't eat anything. <laughs> I had to. Sorry, Kamar. For what? Making an offensive joke that hurt your feelings. Well, I hurt my feelings, it's a joke. Yeah, I said it was stolen. Didn't really seem like a joke, it just asked me a question. <laughs> so I didn't laugh, was I supposed to? Well, I didn't laugh. See guys, he was hurt by that one. Go to the comment down below, say, yep, when was hurt. That can ask you the same thing. What? Bruh. Sucks to suck, doesn't it? Come on. I got a five second penalty for a collision with George Russell. We didn't even make any contact, bro. I'm telling you, that I are fucking fucking up, dude. I got a penalty fucking the other week for fucking bullshit. Alright, come here, boy. Fucking Osama bin fucking Russell tried to 9-11 me in the fucking corner. And I got a five second penalty. And all I got was this stupid booba shirt. Honestly, dude. Do you have any dank stories you want to tell us? Come on. I do. 
Send it. Um, so, I don't know if it was in this uh, series or a different series. I was talking about the dude that I work with that just like everybody just hates dude <laughs> it might have been this one because i'm pretty sure this is what we recorded when i um explained our resident vegan story yeah so and i might have mentioned that uh this dude uh had a challenge to sell like a bunch of christmas trees did i mention that you text me that okay well long story short this dude had a challenge to sell all the Christmas trees from the displays because we need to get rid of them anyway and like this dude fucking fucks off so you just need to give him like a task to do sell it's all like... the display Christmas trees is this man's task yeah <laughs> ah, it's so ridiculous dude and so this dude sold all the Christmas trees and if the the reward for him doing that was uh, Starbucks like the the leads to get him Starbucks the manager would get him Starbucks doesn't his girlfriend work so, at Starbucks or some shit no it's the fucking girl that's fucking literally being harassed by like every fucking dude not every dude but like oh it's the other dude that's harassing you bro there's too many fucking yeah the, yeah this dude's just the fucking cringe dude that just this is Squidward <sighs> yeah <laughs> bro I got the two fucking mixed up cause I was like one of those fucking Chatting up seventeen-year-olds and one of them's fucking. No, well, Squidward always fucking hangs out at the fucking Starbucks area, dude. So. So he's also chatting up seventeen-year-olds. No, no, he's not. He's he's not. He's talking. Like he's yes, he's talking to them, but he's not like sexually in any way, shape, or form. He's just. He does this to everybody, and he's just fucking like, all right, dude. <laughs> We're trying to chat you up, Kamar. No, no, it's not chatting you up. Like, it's not like that. It's he's just like, hey, Kamar. Being... It's being Wanna fucking, come to Chili's like, with me after? So annoying, dude. Like, Get that all go, go I've never... the table. I, I have a really high tolerance for fucking dumb shit, dude. Same. This dude is just like, bro, shut the fuck up, dude. I at least say like two or three times a day. It's like... Bro, like, like, his... Whenever he fucking just talks, like, it's so... He just says shit that's, like, so out of the context of the situation. It's, like, disrespectful. Like, the other day there was someone who hurt themselves, and then later on, he was like, I could do your job better than you. <laughs> just, like, straight up. And this dude fucks off. Like, all the fuck out, he's the worst, dude. Like, you're not doing shit better than anybody. Like, bro, shut your ass up. <laughs> like, it's so fucking annoying. Like, he said that later on, too. Like, not, like, right after. It's like a joke. He's not, like, nobody is, like, cool with him like that. So when, any, when he says anything, it's, like, genuinely fucking just, like, bro, shut up, dude. It's just the worst fucking time, dude. Like... And so, I decided to fucking mess around with this dude today. And I told this dude that I would buy him a Starbucks. Whatever drink he wanted, or whatever he wanted. You suck him off if, after two? No, I did not. If for the rest of the day today, because there was only like three hours left of a shift, and I wasn't really sure if uh, he would or not but i was like 99.9999 percent sure that i'd win this bet um and i also said the day after at the end till the end of his shift if this dude could not ask any questions like the the bet is i'll buy you a starbucks if you do not ask anybody in the store any questions <laughs> because this dude literally that's that's how he's so annoying like the thing is like you're just like, Are you good with your laptop? to do a task, right? Uh, yeah. You're just, like, walking to do a task, right? Like, going somewhere to, to grab a box or dump something off. And this dude is like, So what are you doing? It's like, Bro. First off, it's none of your business. <laughs> Second off, like, Go do your own job. 
like he 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 breaks down and asks questions about like every single thing that you are doing everybody like i told you that this dude fucking tried selling christmas trees to he's asked every single person that walked into the store for a christmas tree if they wanted to buy one and he like basically like you know all those dudes are in stores who sell phones to you or try to get you to buy phones like he was doing that with christmas trees i'm like you should go and actually sell some shit and not like work here and he's like oh i don't want to do that like cool dude either way uh, so yeah, the, the bet was I'd buy him a Starbucks if he does not ask anybody any questions and then 30 seconds later this dude asked the girl from Starbucks So where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, well you lost. And he's like that's not even a question and I'm like, yeah it is dude, you fucking lost. You're a loser. <laughs> Damn. Man, I fucking mean this dude for being a loser. Bro got clapped and deserved it, dude. Yeah, dude. When I told everybody that I'd make the bet. Like, there was a whole bunch of people around, and I was like, there, they, nobody thought he could do it. And I didn't think he could do it either, dude. Like, 30 seconds, dude. Bro can't go more than 30 seconds without asking a fucking question. I'm done. Bro can't go 30 seconds without being a fucking annoying. Like, my god, dude. Bro, so today, fucking our resident vegan didn't actually make me want to fucking kill myself like normal, but I was still just fucking annoyed that he was there. He's just fucking cringe and his existence makes me want to fucking end it all. So I asked one of the... I asked the pro supervisor, I'm like, so when's this dude leave? <laughs> He's like, four o'clock. And I said some comment. I was like, it's not soon enough or something like that. And this dude's like, what's going on? I'm like, I just don't like the dude. I'm like, I think he's fucking obnoxious. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, I'm like I'll, I'll fucking tell you straight up I don't fucking like somebody. I don't give a shit. It seemed like surprise that I don't like somebody. I'm like, nah, that dude's fucking whack. Like, well, that dude's not there. The fucking day is so much better. Yeah, I felt that. Like, my motivation is choked to work. It's just so much fucking lower when there's just literal fucking clowns in the apartment. I don't give a fuck. Like, you know, they're so fucking dumb. Like, like bro, I'm just fucking here, dude. Once the sprint's over, I'll send you the uh, clip of what I thought when I was going to work today. Exact, exact thoughts. Right. Well, that sucks.
That couldn't have been like any worse. Where are you? Uh, 14 with a five second penalty. You got a five and second penalty? One. Yeah. For what? Uh, so your collision with some fuckboy. That's so fucking dumb, dude. I hate the fucking sprint format in this game. Let's see that you're last now. No, I'm working on it. No, I'm just saying, like, you started, you qualified second, fell to last, and now you're gonna have to start this. Or, or the actual race in the back. Out of track, you're pretty good at because the fucking format's dumb. Yeah. I mean, we'll see how this works, so I'm in the pits right now, so. I mean, if everybody had to pit, you'd probably be in a better spot, but... And the other good news is I got a grid penalty, so I got to start sixth on the next race. That's fantastic. So. I wonder if they make hall cards, hallmark cards for that. But. Having grid penalties, like congratulations, you got yourself a first grid penalty. Yeah, probably. Caution here. Good hmm. morning. Good news. The OS has enabled this lap. That's gonna really benefit both. You're 25 seconds behind the next dude, and I'm seven and a half seconds ahead of the next car, so. Bro, you're almost fucking closer to me than you are to the fucking back. I'm just kidding, but. I'm not that far behind you, though, genuinely. Well, so we can get a fucking safety car, dude. Might still be in this thing. Pack seems pretty spread out right now. Let's see. Well, yeah, it got spread out because you had that group from like when you had your spin, whatever, and that's kind of like the second group.
Here we go. Final lap. Bro, things I haven't been pushing this whole race, dude. Knocking down fucking Tom on Ocon, dude. Come on, let's fucking slot one of the last race. He won the last race? Didn't he? That was Piastri. Oh, I thought he was Ocon. No, because it's McLaren. Because those, the rest of those are close to rivals. Yeah. Which again, speaking on that, they will gain a few points on this year. They're second and third. Here we go. Back on form. Time to win a race. It's a sprint, but we'll take it. Final lap. Final lap. Push, push. I'm doing radio station. Thanks, you fucking told me eight times, dude. Caution, caution. Apparently I hit a bullseye. At work? No, uh, in this game. Oh. I got a bullseye decoration on my Christmas tree. Do you? Did you see it on my Instagram post? My Christmas tree? I did not. Bro, missed my Instagram post from six days ago on my Christmas tree. No, it's not. I just didn't check that, like, detail. Bro, didn't even like my post. It's crazy. Shut up, dude. Um. No, but I sent you literally the thing popped on my when I was driving to work today. Ooh, we picked up a grid penalty. Because Osama Ben Russell's a fucking clown. Oh my god. 
except for for me it was all i had to look forward to is working with a lunatic in our hr but still um we've noticed that on your recent youtube videos You've been dropping the R word a lot. You've called your co-workers lunatics and retards. And this is we not... Not highly problematic. This is not allowed in so company So us policy. on the left side, the garden center, <laughs> have filed the report on their behalf. Oh my god. In conjunction with... God. Oh... Well, look at that. Should have went for the raincoats. It's raining a more. Is it? Yeah, he just said it. Look, it's raining. Alright, I'm starting sixth. Let's see what we can do. You racing intermediates? <laughs> racing or whatever. Now then I got softs. I don't know what I fucking cut. Why'd they say it was raining? Um, it's literally not raining, dude. They fucking lied to me. Pit. This could end very badly. Someone's off the road. <sighs> Fucking hell. Gamar, tell me that wasn't you. Tell me that's Hamilton in the bunker. No, that was me, dude. Gamar, no. Fucking hell. I made it through without any damage. My issue was I should have got out of there faster, but I forgot what game I was playing and I pressed triangle to reverse and it's the left trigger, so it took a little bit longer to get out of the gravel than it should have, but I have that problem all the time, dude. Whoa, I must have took some heavy back wing damage from Sonoda. When I said this wasn't going to work, we were going four wide into that corner. Bro, why are you- oh my god, dude. You don't have a fucking front wing and you're still trying to fucking- My god, dude, really? Really? Oh my god, dude. What's happening to you, my guy? Fucking Lewis Hamilton is trying to fucking race me when he has a broken front wing. Let me fucking pass, dude. Get him, dude. So then I got spun into a fucking barrier and lost my front. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no! <laughs> oh no, oh god. Okay, let's go Get over here, Hamilton. I'm not done with you. For what? Oh my god, Ocon's a slut. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is oh my god, this episode, dude. This has not gone well for me today, dude. Come here, Hamilton. Want to pit again, bitch? Do you want to pit again, bitch? Let me fucking pass, or I'll make Do you. You want to go to Bucky's, you fucking wee wee? What? That's what you fucking wow. get. Wish you told me you were gonna fucking wreck him before, dude. Oh, it's a virtual safety. Sorry. 
delta. We need to keep it positive to avoid a penalty. Slow down, maintain positive delta. The double positive. I didn't know I was gonna do it until I fucking did it, dude. So. I just passed the pits. Goddamn, the Gamora. Sorry. Oh my god. I didn't want to fucking, god, like, just no. race me fucking normally, so I just sent it on the fucking corner on him. Enjoy your DNF. <laughs> Just fucking having a laugh, dude, in the fucking pits. Right, Enjoy your DNF. Perfect job from you and the crew there, mate. We're delighted with that. Us to Nick in the first episode. I didn't intend to crash him out. I just want to break his front wing. What? Then uh, his. Damn it! <sighs> no, dude! I fucking drove past the Can I go back? No, you can just pit the next lap. You got time. I fucking had my shit paused and it put me past the shit because it's fucking scratch on my nose. I got a fucking flyer on this track though. I'm so far behind the back. Sorry, take it down, dude. Bro, I'm fucking flying around this track, dude. The fucking fastest lap under virtual safety car, or under safety car. Bro, I almost was a lap behind, dude. I should have passed the safety car. I was in between the safety car and the leader. But we made it back up and my tires are probably fucking dead by now. Yep, they're cooked already.
We got fucked over in the Qatar Grand Prix last season. Fucked over in it this time. I think the tire showed a temperature I fucking didn't get a chance to let him cool down after this now, so we're good. I had to go push lap every single fucking time. Go, go, go. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Rod, I get clapped so bad on my start. Whoa! There's no fucking way, dude! You fucking dumbass. God! So fucking annoying, dude. Can't do a fucking lap of the track without some dumbass. Fucking doing something stupid, dude. Side pods have taken damage. You might start to pick up a little bit extra drag. What did he do, dude? He fucking just break. <laughs> exit in the fucking corner. Dumbass move, dude. Like stupid. That's a fucking GTA. <laughs> like I know you fucking. Cut that corner a little bit and threw the AI off, but that dude had no fucking reason to break that drastically in front of him. Yeah, it's dumb. Like, sure, you stacked him up slightly, but like, bro, we didn't need to slam the fucking brakes on. Unnecessary. Enjoy your DNF, loser. <laughs> God. What the fuck is that? Bro, Sides is fucking smoking, dude. That dude's gonna blow up. No. Bro, he's out. Not <laughs> Sides. Not him. <laughs> Can someone check on that man? He's gonna explode. Bro, what is happening in this race, dude? <laughs> I don't know. People are just fucking blowing up on the track. I mean, it's guitar, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I can't fucking turn because Nick DeVries is a fucking dumbass. Broke my front wing. And then I smashed my side pods a bit, driving into him. My tires are fucking pods? dead from fucking pushing. To fucking catch the pack in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, dude. I mean, everybody's right here, but like, maybe with DRS. Dude, this Alright, let's fucking go full throttle. Pitt just said that uh, we've hit a point of no return on the MCU heating thing because I'm going to switch it back.
So fucking now or never, dude. Bro, the collapse is really on, dude. I'm out here in 17. Your 15th is McLaren leading, dude. It's over. I'm making it work, dude. My car won't fucking turn because I broke the side pods. Time pods? Right, get past, idiot, idiot. Hulkenberg, you're next to get past. Oh, that was beautiful. Only a master can make a move like that. Don't tell me to fucking use my overtake button, bozo. Why don't you come try to fucking drive a car with a broken ass floor? And then say, oh, go fast. No, do we just follow the driving line, dude? No, no, I'm sorry, Hulkenberg. Please. Bro, this car won't fucking turn. Oh no, the floor is now critically damaged. I couldn't fucking tell. Driving a fucking shitbox around this fucking stupid fucking track. Ooh, the fucking floor is broken. No, really? <laughs> I couldn't fucking tell when it popped up on the screen when I hit the next freeze. That's fucking crazy. Thanks, AI, for letting me know. Oh no, there's been an incident on the track. Was it you? No, it was fucking you and Hulkenberg. Oh. Resulting in loose debris on the track. What will I do? That's gonna matter to me, because I'm fucking 40 seconds behind. <laughs> Got you out of that. <clears throat> All of this because the game fucking glitched and gave me a starting grid penalty with Osama Ben Russell, dude. We didn't even make contact. And I had to start in sixth. All because of the fucking sprints, too, dude. You would have been second, I would have been first, and run over. But no. Fucking sixth and fucking last. We're getting fucking clapped. Oh, yes, the gap ahead is gonna keep fucking growing. My floor is fucking broken. As is my will to fucking keep doing this fucking race. If I don't want the fucking stats to say DNF fucking 20 million times, I would just do this bitch in the wall a while ago, but. I'd rather have it say 17th than DNF, so. Are you a pass Hulkenberg? No, he's on newer tires with an unbroken car. He's a slot. I'll block him for you. Oh, I really needed to block him so I can get 16th instead of 17th. Yeah. Oh shit, there might be a safety car. What the fuck happened? Uh, someone got spun out. There's definitely gonna be some pits. We're stolen this, dude. Oh, I've... oh man, I can't believe it. <laughs> Maybe I'll get 14. That'd be fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> Shut up! Bro, literally everybody here just fucking crashed, dude. Is that how it feels to be WAN in an every F1 episode? They're struggling to keep it between the lines here. Yes, it's a McLaren pity! Let's go! 
Oh, what a fucking moment, dude. That means we'll be able to make up a position. It means that we'll only lose 25 points in this race. Today. Yes. Constructors. I mean, he's gonna hurt right now. I'm gonna try and beat him down the straight. <laughs> you guys got him. Questions will I beat him down the straight? Probably not. You got that. You got that. You got that. Cut him off, dude. He's a slot. I'll block him for you. Come here, Piastri. You're done, dude. You're done. You're done, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> Bro, what is that? <laughs> no. Dude, just got out of it. <laughs> Bro, I got a 20 second penalty. <clears throat> What's it gonna take for a fucking safety car, dude? Fucking these pit officials thinking. Bro, I got a 20 second penalty for a severe collision with Oscar Piastri. Plus two three second penalties for track cutting. <laughs> The penalty meister, dude. I got a drive-through penalty. I, I'm caught. Yeah, you're getting, you're getting your phone contact name changed from bad call to the penalty meister. <laughs> Bro, how do I got a drive-through penalty for what? For driving through, dudes, dude. Did you not just fucking run Piastri off the road, dude? Why did you just got annihilated? I thought the third dude you took out the session. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, Hulkenberg's getting third and fourth. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Maybe I can serve my 26 second penalty in the pits right now. Good at this game. God, you're just one of those kids who drives around backwards, takes out the other cars. Oh yeah, this sure proves it. It proves it. Okay, a what else are you supposed to do, dude? Oh, my rear wing's broken, too? Oh, my God. They won't shut up about that, dude. You hear that all fucking race. Lucky I just want my block. No, my DRS is broken, dude. Oh, I didn't get to tell you earlier, but I, uh... I pet a dog today. Oh, What kind of dog? I don't know. It's a, a dog. dog. They're all the same, dude. They're dogs. No, they're not all the same. I don't know what kind of dog it was, dude. How did it act? Like a dog. Well, all dogs are different, dude. Like, some play fetch, some fucking I don't know, scream. dude. It was just a dog. I don't know about dogs, dude. I just know they exist. Like, I'm not like, oh my god, it's a dog. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> Uh, I don't fucking like go fucking wild every time somebody walks in with a dog. Does this make the day better, dude? Hulkenberg, you can fuck off. <laughs> you make the day worse, Hulkenberg. Like, bruh, I just. <laughs> no way! Leonard Norris's car broke going to the finish line and he didn't win! <laughs> oh my god! Let's go! I seen it on the map, he was oh, no. slowing down, dude. Oh my god. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm second. Oh my god. Hulkenberg, no. Nah, but I don't know what the dog was, dude. It was a dog. Um, Big? Small? Large? Oh, it's like a baby. Wow. It's like, uh, not adult dog. Yeah. A pup? Yeah.
but I had to see this dub. Wait. Uh, who did you see? If it, was it your uh, work wife? Yeah. When you get married. Bro, listen. There's more to it than just this. Like. Well, then you have to figure out what fucking breed of dog it was. Listen, dude. Or I just. Not. I don't know. Here's the thing. Okay. Her boyfriend brought the dog in the store. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm sitting here on the forklift. We got some moldy ass wood. I'm trying to put it up because we got inventory coming up next week or Tuesday. So. You know, we just can't have it on a cart. We gotta tag it so we know what the item is. So we're getting a set. I saw this dude walk by and I was like, bruh. Like, I never met the dude, but I seen, like, on her Instagram, like, one of her posts. I was like, that looks like that dude. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah. I was like, bruh. I was, like, I was like, that does look like the dog that she has on her Instagram post. <laughs> and I was like, alright, this will be interesting. And I just go about doing my thing, and I'm just like, do I kill myself because I'm working with this clown? <laughs> All right, because I got this oh. fucking vegan, or so do I continue to talk to this vegan or look at and dog? <laughs> and I'm just like, bruh. And I look at my watch, and she's like, where are you? I'm like, come here now. Come I'm like, here now. I'm like in my department. Give you both the sock sock. Like, in my department, where the fuck do you think I'm at? <laughs> and then she's like, come to this aisle. And I'm like, bruh. <laughs> yeah. So I see it. I'm just like, bruh. <laughs> but I was in the middle of doing so, so I didn't go to that aisle. And then she writes, never mind. And I see that uh, her boyfriend's going to check out. And she's over at the register. And I'm like. I just gotta go fucking see this dog, I guess. Uh, so. Yep. That happened. Uh, so you did or you didn't? I did what? See the dog or you didn't? I've seen the dog. And her boyfriend? Yep. And how did that go? Fine. Are you like in a polyamorous relationship now? Or are you just deal? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh my god. The fucking wild thing is the girl that works in tools, I told her about this after, and she's like, maybe she just wants two boyfriends, and I'm like, Bruh. <laughs> I was like, oh my. <laughs> I love it, dude. I was like, yeah, there's dude. no fucking way, dude. That's exactly what you want, dude. Was... You're gonna be your fucking work husband getting fucking. <laughs> no way, you're still recording. <laughs> Are you still recording? I mean, we're two hours in. Say whatever you want. No. no. Uh, all right. To wrap up today's video, we killed it today collectively as a team. We earned ten points. Yes. I'm just gonna skip to the end of this video with my boyfriend. <laughs> still watch. Probably I'm one of our stronger performances <laughs> that we've had um, as a team. But yeah, again, two points. This is the part where I fell apart last season. I had a ninth in Japan, ninth in Qatar, fifth in Bro, Texas, and sixteenth. Didn't Piastri in clash out? What? Didn't Piastri clash out? Yeah, but Lando got second. He's a slut, dude. You know bro, it. Bro, you got fourteenth and I got sixteenth. They got eighteen points. We got zero from that race. We still have. Hold on. What's left? We still have USA, Mex, Brazil, 
Portugal, Vegas. We have Vegas, dude. We killed in Las Vegas last it. time, dude. 16 18. Bro, everybody's going to crash into that first, uh, fifth turn. And then we have the United Arab Emirates, dude. You I mean, I'll, I'll win there. I mean, I, I always win that one. I, that in Brazil. Look at it, dude. And I'll kill USA. So, we got this. So, Vegas and the U.S. Grand Prix. What's that supposed to be? Circuit Americas? Yeah. Okay. So we got Circuit Americas, Mexico, Brazil, Portugal, Las Vegas, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So I'm Abu being, Dhabi, Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi. I'm confident for Abu Dhabi in Brazil. And Las Vegas, I think I can pull up. I want to do good at that track. I didn't do good at it last time. How bad do you want to? I mean, I'm ready to pull up, dude. So, next episode, we are going to the U.S. Grand Prix and the Mexican Grand Prix. U.S. Grand Prix, I got fifth, and Gamar, you actually got fourth in that last time. It was one of your best tracks last season. Uh, Mexico, you got 12th, and I got a DNF, so we'll see what happens. One of my four DNFs in the last season was in Mexico. Mm. So we'll see what happens when we go there. Um, you do decent in Mexico. Pretty good at Circuit of the Americas, so. I mean, next episode we can definitely pull up, earn some more points, because McLaren is definitely catching us especially from this episode. Uh, we have 410 points. They have 368. So they're definitely closing that gap down a little bit. Uh, the last race definitely helped with Piastri getting his crash that caused him to pit. And Lando, whatever happened to him, come to the finish line. That Max then got the win at the last second. Um, that definitely helped us not get clapped as much but uh also the u.s grand prix is a sprint race so hopefully we can earn some more points there but um we'll see you guys next week for episode number 10